Would you want the wisdom of a 37-year-old man? Would you, in essence, want a brain transplant instead of a hair transplant? In a video that talks about hair loss? Then you came to the right place. This is the best video that exists in 2019 so far about this subject. And I haven't even made it yet. This is happening right now. All right, so I made a video that was called Slowly Going Bald. What is my religion? Where is my wisdom from? And someone who's been watching my videos for a while, Jake Strickland Loves Jesus, left me this comment. Quote, I admire you for standing up for Jesus. I think the messages in your videos are good. I'm struggling with bad hair loss at age 25. I've been concealing it with hair fiber, but I went a week without it. I'm having a hard time being confident, embracing the balding area. I desire to develop confidence in myself apart from my looks. Any advice? End quote. Yes, I do have advice, and I'm glad you asked. I'm happy to, to, to help. So let's, let's look at the bullet points here. Age 25. So, because remember, until you're 35, you're not really going to have a good idea of, of the future of your hair for the rest of your life. 35, pretty much for most men, to, gives you a good glimpse. Either you're going to be holding on to most of your hair, most of your life, or you're just going to be fading away for the rest of your life. Age 35 is that determined point, which is why I always tell everybody, don't email me your picture, don't Instagram me, I don't need to see a picture of your hair. Just go to the barber, he'll give you a good idea, and then look at a picture of yourself at age one. That's a good projection often of what your hair is going to look like at age 35. Okay, so that's what I always tell everybody. Now with that being said, we got a 25 year old here, and he's already got enough hair loss that he's using hair fiber. So. As far as what's my advice, here's my advice. Get ready for it. Shave off all your hair. That's the best advice I can give you. Best advice I can give you is for you to shave off your hair. That's the end of the video. <laughs> I would suggest a number two guard. And then when you feel good about that, try number one. And you're probably going to be happiest with a zero, which is going to barely leave any stubble. Uh, that's my personal favorite. But start with the number two. You can do it yourself. Number two guard, just you just shave it all off. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to give you a preview of your biggest fear that you will have no hair. Now, I understand that shaving your hair all off when you still have most of it is not the same as going slick bald on top by the time you are 25. I understand that. But what my whole channel is about is about psychologically overcoming hair loss. And what I have learned is that a lot of the guys who watch my channel who fear hair loss the most, and especially, I'll, I'll tell you, I really put in this category, the guys who are only Norwood too, no matter what age they are. You could be a 20-year-old, 25-year-old, 30, 40-year-old with the V and the 90-degree corners, but and even have no diffuse thinning. Those guys often fear hair loss the most because they have the most to lose. So wherever you are on the spectrum, both physically and psychologically when it comes to hair loss, best thing you can do is get rid of the thing that you're worried about. You actually shave it all off. It'll give you a preview of what you're going to look like if you do go bald. And also, it's going to help you get a glimpse of that new identity. What you are like without hair. It gives you a glimpse of if I didn't have my hair to build or break down my confidence, who would I be? What would I look like? What would my new identity be like? Because here's what I'm going to say. If you're 25 and you have enough diffuse thinning that you're depending on Go Fiber or, or fiber, hair fiber, I, the brand I used as all my experience was Go Fiber. That's why I said that. Well, whatever brand it is. The fact that you're depending on that now and you're needing that now to cover up hair loss at age 25, based on what I said at the beginning of this video, you already know where you're heading because at age 35, that's the make or break point. So if at age 25, you've already got noticeable hair loss, the truth is by the time you are 35, you're going to have that much more noticeable hair loss. It's most likely that's going to be the case. So it doesn't make sense to keep using hair fiber when the inevitable is very obvious since you're still 10 years away from that 35 breaking point. 
So my advice is shave off your hair. And I get it. It's going to be kind of weird at first. Not so much for you, but for other people. Because they think, why'd you shave off all your hair? You're not going bald, are you? That's probably what they're going to say. But they're going to get used to it. And you're going to really like it. And after a couple of weeks, people are going to get used to seeing you that way. And if you started growing it out, they'd be like, dude, I, I actually was kind of growing on me with the shaved hair. And girls will even say that too. They're like, yeah, you, you actually, not everybody can, not every man can get away with the shaved head, but you were able to do it. You often get that feedback sometimes once you walk away from the thing. So that's the best advice I can give you. Nothing else is going to help you. I mean, it is true you're losing your hair. It is true that you're young. It is true it's not going to get better. It is true eventually you're going to be bald. So why not take the dive now? Just get it over with. Face your fear. That's the best advice that I can give you. And yes, all the other stuff about building your identity, that's going to come. That's important. But it's not as important as shaving off your hair right now. That's the most important thing you could do. And then from there, then of course we'll look at all the other stuff, which is what are you good at? Like, what do you do for a living? What are your hobbies? What defines you as far as your skill set? What makes you feel good about yourself to know that it's part of you? And you think, hey, I'm good at this. And it's okay to acknowledge that and embrace that. And then think, what are the things I'm horrible at? I don't need to worry about the things I'm not good at. That's somebody else's job to do those things. My job is to be the guy that's good at this and this and this. And also, you smile a lot. You find ways to make people laugh. You find ways in conversation to turn the conversation about the other person and never about yourself. Even when people ask you questions about yourself, maybe just quickly, vaguely answer them, but then get right back to the other person because people like to talk about themselves more than other people. So if you're the person who's so comfortable in your own identity that you can get other people talking about themselves, even with just with basic questions about themselves that no one else could answer, then that's how you get people to not only like you, but to think that you're attractive, especially women. Women are not attracted to men the same way that men are attracted to women. Women care about all this other stuff that men think, well, that's boring. Why would it? Oh, because women are wired differently than men. They're attracted to the opposite sex differently than men see women. And I know this secret and I'm wanting every young balding guy to know that it's not only going to help you with dating and, and, and finding the person you're going to marry, but it's going to help you in all relationships of your life to know these sort of things. This is about emotional intelligence is what it's about. Hair loss means nothing when you start learning these secrets, but all of these secrets about and getting to know other people by asking them questions and being the one that smiles and gets them to laugh and all these things and knowing what you're good and bad at. It's all good, but I still feel that your first move is to take the dive. You get a pair of clippers, you take off the guard, that'd be a zero, and you do this. And if you can grow a beard, grow a stubble at least, do something like that. And if you're not already working on a gym, definitely do that. It's not so much that it's because girls like muscles. It's not even that. Well, I'll tell you what it is more than anything. Because if we're in the business of building confidence by doing these videos, working out makes you feel good about yourself. It helps you focus on something you can actually control in a healthy and constructive way that you can see change over time. The confidence that working out will give you and taking care of yourself and eating right and exercising is actually more important than the fact that girls see muscles as attractive. What's funny is if you ask me, it has less to do about a female seeing muscles and thinking, oh, that's physically attractive. They're actually thinking that guy is motivated and he's disciplined and he's focused. And those are things that women all care about. They want to see a guy is motivated and has that discipline in, in certain areas of his life. All that matters. Now imagine all this wisdom is coming from a 37 year old who cares about helping younger guys. Imagine this. Imagine other guys that are worrying about their hair loss, they're watching other hair loss videos, and they're trying to find ways to prevent their hair loss and stop their hair loss. 
They're not getting the help that people are getting right here. If you have ears to hear this truth, it is definitely for you. I hope that helps. It may not be the answer you're looking for or other people are looking for, but it's the best advice that you can get on the subject. Got comments? They belong right here.